In this video, we're going to be building this beast of a table. It's an 88 by 88 inch table out of oak. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is break down our materials. And uh, I'm working with six quarter oak that uh, is already milled up on three sides. And since this uh, table is so large, we're going to be gluing this uh, all these boards up. Uh, to double up the size of the, the thickness of the legs and uh, just the base in general. So uh, after I've cut those pieces down to, to rough length, we're, uh, we're cutting them in half and uh, getting ready to glue those up. So obviously the, you know, these are going to be the legs. And you know, I was actually a little disappointed in this. Uh, I, I I bought this lumber from a, a new company that I don't typically work with, and uh, they gave me a little better price on it. But it uh, it's not as thick as uh, as the oak I'm used to. You know, I order six quarter oak from another company, and uh, and it's almost a quarter inch thicker. So uh, this this stuff is just over an inch and a quarter. And uh, the stuff I typically get is just over an inch and three eighths, almost an inch and a half, which is what six quarter stands for. So I was a little disappointed when I got this, but uh, it worked out well for this project. I, I don't think I would have wanted the top to be a full inch and a half because uh, it was just so big and so heavy. I can't imagine it being you know any thicker and just adding to that weight. And uh, gluing this base up. The, the inch and a quarter actually worked out well. It uh, it came it came out nice and thick, glued up, but not uh, not too big. So in the long run, it worked out, but uh, but I wasn't happy with it when I first got it. Now all these boards are going to become that uh, that 88 inch top. Uh, so like I said earlier, they, they're all milled on three sides and uh, I'm just cutting cutting that fourth side straight and every one of them is a little different width uh, and I actually have the, the width written down on the end of them there so that's why I keep coming around the table so I can see that size and, and set the table saw up for the next board. Square footage wise, this is the this is the biggest table I've ever glued up. We've done some uh, some 14 foot long tables for folks, but uh, even though this thing is only 88 inches long, it's also 88 inches wide, and it is a monster. Um, and right here, I've just got a couple boards. After I after I laid all my boards out, you know, I, I cut that uh, that fourth side straight on the table saw, and uh, and got them all laid out. There's usually a board or two that's not quite straight, and you can see that whenever you uh, when you put them all together, you know you find a gap. So uh, you've got to go back to the joiner and uh, and get that side straightened out, and then go back to the table saw and get the other side uh, straightened out and parallel to it. Now here, you know this being a 88 inch wide tabletop, we don't have clamps that wide, so uh, the three bottom clamps. We are going to uh, use some uh, some pipe unions and uh, and connect two clamps together to get them long enough. And that's that's what's awesome about pipe clamps. They're so versatile. Uh, you know, they don't have a very deep throat, obviously, but uh, but man, you can just do anything with them. It's not long enough, just put a bigger clamp on it, or just put a bigger uh, pipe on it. The only downside to doing this uh, with that union in there, that union obviously uh, stands up off the pipe a little bit. So uh, we're going to measure that and, uh, and cut some boards, uh, just some thin boards to set on there. And I'll zoom in here in a minute so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you see how that stands up off that pipe, and you know if you tried to, uh, you know we're obviously we want our tabletop flat, and that's going to hold a board up off the the pipe. So uh, we're putting some spacers on the bottom and tops of these uh, these pipes just to to make up that difference. 
and we're going to cover those spacers with uh, with some tape so they don't get glued to our tabletop from the glue squeeze out when we go to go to glue it up. And this didn't work out perfect for me, but uh, but it was okay. I, I wish I would have taken a little more time and uh, and done a better job with those boards we put on the pipes, but uh, but it worked out all right. It just it was a little more work uh, trying to get the, get the tabletop flat as we were uh, getting it all in clamps. And here we're cutting off some boards at the end because uh, they were sticking out too far. We couldn't couldn't close the the clamps up. And after we pull our boards up, we're going to have to do it again. Cut a little more wood off there. This is obviously a huge glue up, and I think it would be just about impossible to do this by yourself unless you had some, uh, some slow set glue. but we got it done.
so high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through
this is the top side of the table and uh, I'm using the uh, belt sander to get all the glue excess off there to uh, to get the excess epoxy off of there and then also just to uh, to even out my my boards at the joints and reaching the middle of this uh, tabletop was a pain flipping this top over was a pain everything about moving this thing around was a pain getting this out of the shop was a huge pain and you know we we have a delivery service that delivered it to the customer's house and and they had a lot of fun getting it in the customer's house but here it is it came out uh, really nice we're really happy with it I uh, hope you like this video please like and subscribe to our channel uh, we're building every day thanks for watching <laughs>